camp out. Get the fire going, found some firewood, and uh, all set up, ready for another night of uh, canopy camping. And the lake is literally like right there, so that's pretty sweet. Um, yeah, we're all set up again. Fridge is on, beer's cold, and uh, I'm dropping stuff. It's uh, it's a little hectic getting organized. Everything's kind of tucked away, pretty good. But uh, that's all right. We'll get her. We'll get her figured out. I don't know if you guys can see or not with just this little bit of light but uh yeah hey thanks for coming out uh, i'm not going to do much filming tonight for obvious reasons you guys can't see probably can't even see me right now stay tuned for the morning i'm um, gonna get the boat out this time for sure i'm gonna go to bed early get up early pump it up i might even pump it up before uh before the morning while i'm just puttering tonight get it all ready to go and uh we'll get out on the lake and do some fishing Hopefully do another catch and cook. So stay tuned for that and we'll see you guys in the morning. Morning! How's everybody doing today? It's another gorgeous day at the JCBC Outdoors channel. Thanks for coming along. This is day two of uh, my two day camping trip season two welcome back we got the canopy camper all rigged out we're gonna do some fishing today it got cold last night though folks i'll tell you what it was uh it was okay in here but everything's pretty frosty out there winter's coming uh, but that just means ice fishing so that's okay too anyways i'm gonna get some coffee going uh have some breakfast and then uh the sun should be out a little more and we'll get it on the lake and hopefully uh catch some fish this is what it's like when I wake up in the morning. Just looks like a bomb went off in there. But that's okay. I had a great sleep. Not too cold. Nice and cozy. But uh, check out the frost, guys. Look at that. Yikes. Hey, eh? everything's a little bit, a little bit dusted. My boat is just. She's a frosty one. Wow. That's cool. I guess. I don't know. Anyway, here's the lake we're going to be fishing in today. It's Dominic Lake. <clears throat> it's a bigger bigger lake, bigger than I anticipated. So uh you know, we'll have to, we'll be doing some paddling. But I think we can uh I think if we, if we go to the right, we can just kind of hug the shoreline and yeah, it looks good. It looks like a good fishable lake. I read a little bit about it online and uh, sounds like it's got some nice fish in it and people do pretty well so excited to get out and let that sun peek up in the sky a little bit farther and warm us up a bit but uh, for now let's go back and smash back a couple coffees make some eggs and uh, get ready for the day might even light a fire probably get one going from that stuff from last night Oh, what is that? That's one of my tea bags. Just didn't recognize that. That doesn't look like coals. Anyway, coffee, breakfast, fishing. All right. Gotta brush my teeth. Yikes. I mean, I could make coffee on the fire, but I'm impatient. And this is just way more convenient. And I have it, so I might as well use it, right? So we'll just use the Coleman. If we can get her to light. Oh yeah, there she goes. There she goes. Oh, look at that, we even got a banana. Sweet. Oh, good old percolator coffee. Bit of residual tea from last night. We gotta fill that up, don't we? Oh, yeah, watch this trick, folks. Boop. Well, that didn't really work, now did it?
that's pretty slick. I mean, I pretty much could have just climbed in and got it too, but it's cooler doing it out the window. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Yesterday I dumped a bunch on the floor. That really uh, didn't go over very well. Make a strong one this morning. That. Yeah. Nice. Coleman's ready. There. Now we're cooking with gas. Well, next thing on the list is to brush my chompers. My goodness. Just watch the uh, watch the stove, all right? Ah, that's better. Fresher. It feels weird not having my hat on. Can fix that problem, I guess. Getting to that time of year, I think I'll throw on my toque. Ooh, if I can remember how to wear one. Oh, that's nice. That helps. Oh. Yeah, so we get some eggs. We're going to fry up some eggs. Drink these coffees. Oh, I hope the fishing's good today. I have a good feeling. Never been here before. Um, I don't know how deep the lake is. Hopefully we can get to the fish. Hopefully we can find the fish. That'd be helpful. Anyway, we'll let that uh, percolate, <laughs> as it were. Yeah, we'll flick you back on when we're cooking breakfast. Oh man, overfilled it I guess. It's alright, you just simmer away there, pretty one. Put the fire out. Put the fire out. I think I put too much coffee in there. It's just bubbling over like crazy. Anyways, breakfast. I have a plethora of goodies this morning. Got some cherry tomatoes. Got some meat and cheese. I'm gonna fry up some of the meat with the eggs. Maybe cover it all in cheese. What else do we got? Some berries, grapes, and raz. Gotta like the bananas, eh? Gotta have them. And we got this little beauty. Compliments of my Nana. Thanks, Nana, for the egg carton holder or egg holder carton. See if they see if they fared out okay on the trip. Oh, beautiful! No cracks. Good deal. So it does the trick. It's pretty bumpy coming in here. Got a little uh, Montreal chicken, and then this stuff here. I can't remember what it's called, but I got it from my boss. Um, it's just like a kind of a nice spicy seasoning i forget what it's called but it's really good so i'll use that too i gotta use this stuff up so might as well fill my guts change of plans wow breakfast plans i'm gonna make an omelet i'm gonna chop this meat up toss these tomatoes in there mix up the eggs just pour it in actually hmm i think i'll fry up the meat Get it a little bit, you know, stewing in its own juices. And then I'll dump the eggs in, but I'll mix the eggs up. Yeah. Scrambled, omelette kind of breakfast hash, we'll call it. No potatoes, but uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. So I'm going to cut this meat up. Got butter somewhere. Maybe it's in the fridge. Anyway. <clears throat> I gotta get some plates. Uh, I do have a cutting board, which I could probably use, which is probably a lot better than using this lid. So you know what? I'm gonna grab my butter and I'm gonna grab my cutting board. Be right back. Oy. We got all.
all this stuff, guys. Oh, butter. Forgot the butter. Butter. Gotta have butter. There we go. Ugh. Is that a nice clean? I got a better knife that I can use. That'll be a little sharper anyway. Not that I needed a sharp knife, but it's just so much nicer cutting with a sharp knife. I think it's safer too. Could be wrong, but I think it's I think that's right. You don't have to push as hard. And then you have more control. So always use a sharp knife, guys. But always be careful. I think we'll cut this cheese up into little pieces too. You know, camping and cooking and eating camp food is just it's so good. Like this is something I would probably never ever make at home. Out here camping, you know, it's just like anything goes, man. Just throw it in the pan. Hope for the best. But it'll be delicious. I know it will be. I mean, this is all these things are good. I mean, who doesn't like meat and cheese? Fried eggs. Some people don't like tomatoes. I'm not sure about the tomatoes. I, I think I'm going to use them anyways because i got to use them up. I'm sure it'll be fine. Cooked tomatoes are pretty good. So I think that's probably enough cheese. Put you guys over here. We can turn this thing. Boop. And uh, yeah, we'll get to cooking. Oh yeah, that'll be lots. I'm going to fly the drone this morning too. I figure it's a pretty nice morning for that. Get a little bird's eye view of the area. See what we're up against. It's quite the drive. Drive getting in here. It was pitch black. I didn't really know where I was going. Of course, I turned down the wrong wrong road and had to turn around. There's a private campsite or private like private property, I guess, just on the other side of the lake. And uh, that's the road I went down the first go. But the gate was closed and I couldn't get in. But this is where I wanted to end up anyway. I saw this little, uh, I guess it's a dam, a gate for a dam. I don't know exactly how that works, but uh, that's my understanding. I saw that in the picture and it looked like it was a nice open area here, so I figured this is where I would come. Found it. Well, here we are. I'm going to finish cooking my breakfast and then we'll fly the drone. Oh, what would really good in here would be some onion. Probably wild onions growing around here somewhere. I don't feel like looking for them though. Oh, we got a friend. That's an interesting bird. Check this out. Oh, he's gone. Oh, oh, there he is. Hey, little fella. Look at this little guy. You guys can see him. He makes a really weird sound. I don't think I've ever seen a bird like that before. What's your name, little fella? Hey. Eh? Hey little guy, you looking for some grub? I bet you are. Sorry, I don't have anything. And you're not supposed to feed the wildlife, so. Birds are wildlife, I ain't feeding you. Get your own breakfast. You're pretty though, pretty bird. Pretty cool. Got the tomatoes in there. I don't know how that's gonna pan out, but no pun intended. Put a little bit of this in there. Oh, it smells good, tell you that. Tell you that for free. Well, you're a brave little birdie, aren't you? Coming right up to the truck, just about. Not bothered by me at all. Well, I don't think we need four eggs for our kitchen JCBC Outdoors cook-off. We'll just do we'll just do three. That'll be plenty. I got fruit to eat too. Man, I got a lot of food this morning. Anyway, we'll get that uh, that in there as soon as we can. First, we'll get some butter in there for the eggs to uh, slip around on. You guys can see the birdie in the background there, but he's getting brave. Coming right down to the right to the fire pit. Well, I'll tell you what guys, it doesn't look very good. It's a really funky color. 
So I'll just cover it with cheese, and then it'll be fine. The thing I don't have is a lid for my pot, though. So I'm not sure how this cheese is going to melt. It should be hot enough in here. And we could put this over it, I guess. It'll help a little. Oh, good stuff. Damn, that's looking pretty good now. Orange in there, some color. Liven it up. Boys and girls. I think I've outdone myself. Put a little bit of this on there. Oh, we fancy. We fancy. Well, I think that's cooked. I'm going to turn that off. Let everything kind of melt a little bit. Oh. Oh. That's good stuff right there. Anyways, you guys hang tight. I'm going to smash this back. I'm going to smash back the rest of my coffees. Of course, I didn't bring a to-go mug. Durr. Would have been nice to have coffee over in the lake. And we'll get the old green boat out and uh, hopefully catch a fish. So, Check out that breakfast. That turned out so good. Those tomatoes were a nice touch. Got some, got some fruit. Start the day, you know, some yogurt. Some probiotics. I don't know what that even means. And, uh, yeah, it's really good. Um, if you guys want the recipe, leave a comment. I'll share it with you. It's pretty easy. I think you could figure it out.
nice little warm up to get started. It's time to grab the boat. Hey, look at us out in the boat. I think what we're going to do to start off is uh, go along the trees over here, try some casting. Some nice weeds, some nice growth. Probably fish hanging out right here, you know. any fish jumping yet this morning so I'm a little bit uh, I don't know a little unsure I guess we'll say of where the fish are at all right no action so far so I'm gonna change it up a little bit we're gonna drag this leech along the shore and just see if we can hook into something and just enjoy the scenery and have a nice little paddle I'm having such a good time so nice being outside now that I got the canopy camper all rigged out I mean tiny home right it's pretty much what it is you can go anywhere sleep anywhere man it's just so awesome i love the outdoors well no luck yet folks i got a, a little nymph down uh, about six seven feet just hanging out on a on an indicator and i'm gonna try flicking this little lure around and see if we can't find some fish i haven't seen any fish jumping i thought i heard one splash a little earlier but uh, I don't know. I think it might have just been a duck or something. Pretty quiet so far. But what a gorgeous day. A bad day of fishing, better than a good day at work, I'll tell you that. And it's just gorgeous out there. Check it out, right? It's just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I did get one, what I thought was one hit earlier um, before I started trolling with the leech, but uh, I don't know, it might just been me <laughs> being excited. I had to put my sweater back on. It's cold in the shade. It's a cold, it was a cold morning. I was, uh, I was surprised. I didn't think it would be quite this cold. Mind you, we are up, uh, elevation's pretty high up here. I don't know what exactly, but I know we're up quite a ways. But yeah, it's, uh, I mean, it's middle of October now, so weather's gonna start changing dramatically, I think. Uh, we've had a really nice first half of October. It's been beautiful. I don't even think we've had any rain. Sunny, but dry. So I'm, uh, oh, I just saw a fish jump up ahead, so that's good. There is fish sitting in here. Right on. Hey, so we paddled all the way across to the other side of the lake, the other end of the lake. Some fish jumping around here. So try down deep with my, uh, my fly again, and um, yeah, we'll try that for a little while. Try a different, few different kinds of lures. The sun's out now, it's beautiful, fantastic day. Only one thing missing, the fish. Yeah, so stay tuned, hopefully we can hook up. Well, we got fish on, folks. We got fish on. It's a nice little fella, real, real feisty. Beautiful, you guys can see that. That might be a keeper size. Hey, okay, what do you think? That'll be enough for lunch. I think we'll let him go. Thanks for coming along, fishy. All right. Hey, hey, one in the bag. Well, not really in the bag, but a notch on the belt, let's call it. Hey, good start. This is a nice little spot. We're gonna fish the hack out of it. Hopefully we can get a big dog. Stay tuned. We got another one on, boys and girls. Second cast after that last fish. Oh, it's another nice little guy. 
Beauty. I think we'll let him go too. He's pretty small. We can get him to the boat. Okay. Another nice little rainbow. Beautiful. Keep coming. Bring your brother. All right. Let's see if we can get one more. The pink blue fox is slaying them today. What a gorgeous day. My goodness. Pretty awesome too. We already got two fish. Hopefully we can get one a little more size and we can have it for lunch. I got just enough butter left for a fish fry. Catch and cook. Number two, eh? Only taking us like 50 tries. It'll happen. I'm pretty determined. And I've got all day, so planned on camping out last night and uh, and staying for the day to fish. Maybe even go do a little hike. Some, looks like some nice trails around when I flew the drone. I could see some, some nice little spots. There's actually a pond that's uh, just on the outside of the lake, kind of uh, parallel to the road. So I might try hiking in there and uh, maybe try hock a lure in there and see if there's any fish hiding. Be kind of cool to catch a little small donkey. It's really buggering me around. It's uh, I'm really mad at myself for not bringing my other anchor. I'm just constantly spinning around in a circle. It's driving me bonkers. But uh, hey, there's fish, so we're happy. We're good. We're old. Well, we have a little sniff on the uh, blood worm. So we're going to try fishing the heck out of this thing for a little bit. Man, I wish I brought my anchor. Goodness. This boat spinning around is driving me nuts. Lots of fish jumping now, so they're a little more active than they were when I got out here. But of course, they'll jump in one spot, and I'll go there. And then they'll stop jumping, and they'll jump in the spot that I was at. Murphy's Law, right? Oh well. Pretty awesome day so far. Two fish. Beautiful sunshine, and uh, I think there's more fish to be had, so we're just going to keep on trying, keep hucking different things, see what happens, you know? It's too nice to go home early, I mean, unless something goes real sideways, I'm planning on staying out here till probably at least supper time, you know, maybe do a catch and cook for lunch. And then another catch and cook for dinner. Be pretty cool. Or catch two right now. And have one for dinner and one for lunch. Oh, big fish just jumped right, right beside my float. Right beside it. They're just jumping all over the place. So I think I'm in a good spot. Just got to present them what they want to eat, you know? I was thinking about trying top water, but I don't know. I have more luck with the float and the boat's spinning again never fails Oh. Well, that's it for the boat for today. I think we'll uh, pack it up and uh, head over there. See if we can't find that little pond and huck a couple lures. I think that'd be pretty sick. Nice thing about this boat, it's easy to take apart, easy to fold up, and it fits underneath my seat in the back of the truck. Beats the heck out of having to haul a trailer. I mean, it would be nice to have a nice boat, but this is a pretty nice boat. It does the trick. Well, I cheated. I took the drone out, and I took it for a fly over where I thought that pond was. Turns out it's just a big old cow bath. 
so we won't be bothering with that I'm not gonna try to get in there it's just not worth it so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna eat these noodles I'm gonna pack up all my crap load up the truck we're gonna head out because there's another lake on the way out that I'd like to try out maybe we can just fish from shore I don't know uh, Roper Lake it's called uh, it's fairly close to here so and it's on the way it should be right there we should be able to see it from the road and it's small so I'm hoping we can just cast from shore and maybe we'll get another fish anyways I'm gonna enjoy these noodles and uh, you guys just sit back and relax and we'll uh, we'll catch you on the road you know if you think hard enough it kind of tastes like fish that's what I was really banking on eating today uh, I guess I shouldn't have thrown those fish back oh well they were pretty small I have to stick with noodles and chips I guess <laughs> We're heading out, all packed up, off the gnarly road, and uh, heading over to Roper Lake to try some fishing from shore. Yeah, so stay tuned. Uh, one more little fishing session before we finish off for the day. Hang tight, and we'll see you at Roper Lake. Roper Lake. I think I might come here next weekend. One little campsite, some firewood. Well, lots of firewood. And look at this beauty of a lake. No fishing right here, but we're going to tour around and see if we can't find a little fishing hole. Let's see, uh, this way maybe? Nope. Sweet. Found another camping spot. How awesome. Man, this place is just littered with lakes. Incredible. Ooh, I think I found a spot. Oh, look at this beauty, guys. Incredible. Another fairly large lake. Wow. Awesome. Looks like a nice deep little hole here. Huck the lure around and see what happens. <laughs> oh. I hang my head in shame. Oh, I was trying to cast too close to shore. Hooked up on a tree behind me and totally just rat nested my reel. Had to take all my line off. And I was like, oh, it's okay. I'll just take the line off and put some new line on. Well, didn't bring any bloody line. So I guess that's it. That's it for the trip. Two day camping. Come to an end because somebody forgot the fishing line. Oh, man. This looked pretty good too. There's a few spots. Down the way I was going to try to hike to. But uh, it's all over folks. Until next time I guess. I think we'll definitely come here again. It's a nice little campsite. And uh, we'll give it a solid try. With the fishing line. So until next time. Thanks for coming along. Thanks for smashing that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And hey like always. We'll see you guys in the next one.